I'm going to make some coffee. Oh, come on, Lou, say something. You wouldn't want to hear it. Do you want to hit me again? Would that make you feel better? I deserved it. You've got every right to be mad at me. But I never meant to split you and Martin up. You wait a bit, I'll give you a lift. Oh, you must be joking. I've got me image to think about. This is a very classy vehicle. Yeah, but I mean being seen with you. <laughs> very amusing. I can have any breakfast. I'm late as it is. You look how I feel. If you ask for your opinion. All right. In the same state myself, mate. Just shut your mouth for once, will you? But what time are you back for lunch, then? When I'm ready. Mm. Get the feeling I've outstayed my welcome. Andy's all right. He's just hung over, that's all. You reckon? Yeah. And anyway, Katie likes having you around. She won't want you to go. <laughs> we'll pick him up after lunch, if that's OK with you. Yeah, of course it is. I'd have him all day if I could. Come on, do you want to go to the playground? Yeah, please. I bet I can swing <laughs> higher than you. <laughs> can I get you both a coffee? Uh, no, thanks. We've got things to do. Oh, hanging about here is not going to get TJ's new shoes. He's the big kid. Oh, <laughs> he's brilliant with TJ. Yes, he's always been good with kids at that age. And you can see how much he means to him. Donna, get back inside. There's people waiting to be served. Well, why didn't you do it? Don't argue. Just get on with it. Slight mechanical problem now sorted. Sounds like you're skiving to me. Oh, who's talking? Jamie, it's not my fault I don't have any lessons. Yeah, well, maybe you should come out with me and do a real day's work if you think you can stand the pace. Well, driving round Yorkshire, selling a few ice creams, yeah. OK. You stick with my boyfriend, dump me for my best fiend. Friend, you muppet. <laughs> fiend sounds more fun anyway, doesn't it? <laughs> you know what? You're on. Wait till you see my sales technique. Ooh. You going out? Yeah, said I'd help Jamie. All right. No, I haven't got any bookings, so... No, I just thought that we could go for a bit of lunch later on. My show. Oh, Andy, you could have told me. Well, you could do both. She'll have had enough after a couple of hours, anyway. OK? Yeah, fine. All right, I'll see you later. Mm. Right, come on. <laughs> Hello, Woolpack. No, I'm sorry, she's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? Who? If I'd known you in the shower, I'd have come and joined you. I don't remember leaving the door open. You didn't. You know, I thought you'd be back. You aroused my curiosity. I've got nothing new to show you. Well, it must be somewhat big. They're taking up planning to make the petty cash. Are you in or not? I just want to know what type of risks I'll be taking. Now, you're the criminal mastermind. Impress me. You're not losing your nerve, are you? You bluff him. <sighs> you don't know what you're doing, do you? You picked the wrong mug. Well, what else are you going to do, hmm? Stick around here? I haven't done much my sales figures. We would have done better at the village. Yeah, a bit of a no-go area if it gets a bit touchy. It's not just Viv, though, is it? Look, I think we'd better get you back for your lunch date. Why don't you want to see your mum and dad? I've told you, I don't want to talk about that. It won't go any further. I didn't go to the funeral because I couldn't face it. They think I'm a hero. I let him believe that I did everything I could to save Dawn, but I didn't have nothing. When the house collapsed, I just... I stood there, I couldn't move. I was terrified, and... I saw what was happening, I just did nothing. By the time I snapped out of it, it's just too late. They got her out alive, Jamie. She died in the hospital, and no one could have done any more. I lied. You know, I felt guilty, and I lied, and my dad was so grateful because I tried to save her. Talk to him. He thinks the world of you, Jamie. I'm not even worried, does he? And why should he? I'm a liar, I'm a coward. Probably better off without me. 
What the hell are you playing at? What's happened now? Louise has been in touch with an estate agent. That's what's happened. What for? To sell her share of the pub, what do you think? I don't know why you're so surprised after what you've done. We're a partnership. You can't put that in an estate agent's window. He's coming to give me a valuation. I'll take it from there. You're serious about this, aren't you? The sooner I get away from her, the better. You're being ridiculous. I lost Martin because of you. Maybe he wasn't Mr. Right after all. Oh, punished for what I did to raise. Is that what you think? No, of course not. This is your home. It's what you've always wanted. And we've been together for years. Yeah. And all that time you pointed out how useless I am with men. So when I finally find one who's good and decent and makes me happier than I've ever been, you drive him away. I'm sorry. Save I've... your breath, Diane. We're finished. What was all that about? And Martin's finished with Louise and she blames Diane. Why? That's between me and her. She doesn't have much luck with fellas, does she? As if you care. And you're still barred on your bike. But you're going to meet them sooner or later. You should go and see them. What? I can't. Just tell them what you told me. They'll forgive you. Why should they? Because they love you. If you don't try, Jamie, you regret it for the rest of your life. There's loads of things I'd like to tell my dad, but I'll never get the chance. It doesn't have to be like that for you. One day, they're not going to be there anymore, and it's horrible, believe me. What, you tell me to get lost? Well, at least you know you've tried. But I don't think they'll do that. Will you come with me? Of course I will. Right then, come on. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. I didn't know who else to talk to. What's up? It's Martin. He's finished with me. I'm sorry. I thought you were close. Yeah, we were. Until Diane opened a big mouth. What about? Ray. What? We were arguing over the Dingles being arrested, and I was supporting Martin. So Diane mentions Ray. She'd know her eye. She swore to me she'd never tell anyone. Which, did she tell him the whole story? No. But she said enough. And Martin wouldn't let it drop, so I had to tell him everything. What the hell did you do that for? You weren't there, Terry. He's a policeman. He knows how to tell when people are lying. Well, what exactly did you tell him? Did you tell him I were involved? Couldn't you have kept me out of it? I mean, I've got TJ. I don't want to get sent down. He's not going to do anything. He just doesn't want to see me anymore. That's the deal. You should have kept your mouth shut. I know. And the last thing I wanted is for you to get into trouble, but... Diane betrayed me. I thought Martin was the one, and now he's gone. I lost everything, Terry. I'd offer to buy you a pub lunch, Edna. But I know I'm not welcome in there. I'm sure you will be, given time. I hope so. Can't avoid folk forever, can I? You don't waste much time, do you? I hear that your little boyfriend's seen sense and dump you. Go to hell. Louise? What was all that about? Haven't you heard? Everybody else has. Oh, about you and Martin, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was all Diane's fault. Jack said you blamed her. She never liked him. She hated him living at the pub. She said he was bad for business. She wanted him out from the start. What exactly did she do? I don't understand. She just made our lives impossible, OK? Yeah, I know how difficult Diane can be at times when she gets something to her head. I never thought she'd do anything like this. Can we just leave it, please? I see you feeling rough. You're not your normal self. You're behaving differently. Sooner or later, Bob's gonna notice. He doesn't even know I exist anymore. That's not true. 
Well, it's my problem and I'll deal with it. I don't need you sticking your nose in. What's the matter with her? Well, you've just been talking to her. Mind your own business. I think I can do this. Yes, you can. Come on. Oh. Hello, oh. Mum. Jamie. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been so worried oh. about you. Oh! So you finally decided to show your face? <sighs> yeah, I, well, I've come to see you, Mum. Oh, I thought I'd seen the last of you. You don't mean that. Oh, don't I? I know I've let you down. And I am sorry. But I can't explain. What is it to explain? You missed your sister's funeral. You weren't there to say goodbye to her. I, I wish I hadn't been there. I wish I wish to God it hadn't all happened. It was, it was awful. The only way that I could deal with it was by being with people who loved her like I loved her. And I thought that included you. It does. He had his reasons, Bob. Why don't you let him talk? You stay out of it! Katie's right. We can at least listen. It wasn't because I didn't love Dawn. Yeah, of course I did. And I miss her. But I didn't do enough to save her, Dad. Yeah, we know that. We know what happened. No, that's just it. You don't. You know, you thought I was really brave, Dad, but I wasn't. I just froze. I didn't do anything to help Dawn. And that's why I couldn't face you, because I let her down. And I let you down. You let me down when you took the coward's way out. When it came down to it, you just you thought about yourself and you ran off. You didn't stay here to support your family. Oh, you know all about that. This isn't about me, it's about him. Nothing I say is going to make any difference, is it? I don't want anything more to do with you. Bob, don't say that. I, I know how much you're hurting, Bob, but that is so unfair. You didn't even give him a chance. Jamie, don't go. <laughs> They've both turned the mobiles off. They probably just got carried away. They're only selling ice cream. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, maybe it's going really well and they rushed off the feet. Katie says she'll be back in a couple of hours. We're supposed to go out with some lunch. Well, I'll just be having a laugh. Probably lost track of time. I thought you weren't interested. I'm always interested in making money. And you obviously need a bit of help. Oh, you think I'm that desperate? I've got an idea. I can hardly wait. We hijack one of the King's wagons. Mm -hmm. I know a couple of blokes who can take it off our hands. And what? Give us a few thousand? <laughs> Forget it. We beats nothing, which is all you've come up with. Look, what I want is enough to set us up for life, OK? In luxury, far away from here, with new identities. Once we've done that, there's no turning back. <laughs> you haven't got a clue, have you? You have. I've got ideas, but I can't carry them out on my own. But listen, if you want to stay here and stand trial, then don't let me stop you. <sighs> Go on, then. <laughs> Where on earth am I going to find a new partner? Well, it might not come to that. Louise could change her mind. Oh, I don't think so. You heard her. Don't suppose you'll have any say over who she sells it to? She's not going to consult me, is she? The mood she's in. Well, give her a day or two to calm down. The best solution would be for us to buy her share. What? If we make her an offer, it could call a bluff. And if she's still determined to sell, I wouldn't have to worry about a new partner. We couldn't afford it. Yes, we could. We spend every penny we've got. Think of it as an investment. The alternative doesn't bear thinking about. Since we're going to make a fortune, mm. I thought maybe I could have some up front. Right. Well, um, 
I'm afraid you're gonna have to earn it. Well, you know I'll perform. Quick, quick, upstairs, go, 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 quick, oh. Kay, go. <gasps> well, uh, you could have knocked. What for? I own the place. Oh, right, and common courtesy isn't the king's way, is it? Taken to drinking on your own, have you? You know, every day without you is a cause for celebration, Matthew. If you can afford champagne, I take it you've got the rent. Apologies. I would have gift-wrapped it if I had more time. How much of that stuff have you had? Oh, I intend on making it my staple diet. You'll be on halves of bitter before long. Don't count on it. Should have let me stay. Would have got right up his nose. No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. So we keep things private for the time being. Exactly. Fine by me. I'll be in touch. You know what, there's no point staying around here. I might as well go back to Spain. Don't say that. Well, you were what my dad said. He doesn't want anything else to do with me. But your mum doesn't feel like that. You need to give your dad some more time. He's never going to forgive me. And do you know what? I don't blame him. Where have you been? Just a minute. We're supposed to go out for some lunch, remember? Well, let's leave it, will you? Look, Jamie, if you go now, you'll be running away. You've started to make your life for yourself around here. You've got mates. People will miss you if you go. That's not enough, though, is it? What's going on? He's talking about going back to Spain. Jamie, if you leave now, you might never see Dad again. Is that what you want? But Andy, tell him you know what it's like to fall out with your dad. It tore you apart. He'd be making the biggest mistake of his life. Well, maybe it's different for Jamie. Well, no, it isn't. All I'm saying is, you need to give your dad some more time, because he'll come round. I know he will. And you can stay here for as long as you like, can't you, Andy? Sleeping on the sofa? We can clear out the box room. Please, Jamie. You're not getting any younger, Jack. And farming's a young man's game. We could run this place together. It's got to be better than crawling out of bed on a cold winter's morning. I'm not ready for the knacker's yard. I'm not saying that. But I'm looking ahead, thinking what's best for you. It's a lot of money. When we decide we've had enough, we'll get it back and more. You can't lose. And you'd never have to buy another pint. Louise might not want to sell it to us. Why not? She wants out as soon as possible. She's not going to find it easy selling half a pub. Oh, go on then. You won't regret it. And something's going on. Whispering in corners, they're snapping at each other. When I asked Donald what the problem was, she told me to get lost. Whatever it is, it'll be a mother's fault. You don't know that, do you? Ah, oh, but I know what she's like. She should be giving Donna a hard time over something. I don't think she is. She doesn't seem herself at the moment. She seems down. Yeah, if you say so. Red wine, please, and uh, whatever you and Jack fancy. Oh, thanks. Uh, same again. I'm glad you're here because I've got something to tell you. I've got some news for you, too. You haven't changed your mind. I'm afraid not. I'm sorry. You know, I don't want you to go. But if you're dead set on it, then Jack and I are prepared to buy you out, aren't we? Yeah. Well, uh, that's very sweet of you both, but I'm afraid it's too late. I've already found a buyer. You can't have. Mm -hmm. Someone who's very keen to work with you. Who? <coughs> You're looking at it. Isn't you? Could have asked me before you invited him to stay. Well, I didn't get a chance to, and he's got nowhere else to go. You don't think we'll never get rid of him? Well, that's the horrible thing to say. He's just lost his sister. His dad wants nothing to do with him, so he needs our support. He's supposed to be his friends. All right, but if he's going to stay, he's going to have to start paying his way. Right. Hiya. Hiya. 
You and Jamie finally made it back then? Yeah. I told Andy there was not to worry about. But uh, don't let him wriggle out of that lunch date, eh? Oh, no. I've uh, made a brew if anyone's interested. Yeah, great. Bet you're gagging after all that hard labour. I'll be in in a minute. By the way, Andy, if I'm staying, it's only fair if I start paying rent. Oh, I thought he was up to neck in debt. Yeah, well, I've been making a few phone calls and I'm setting up a fairly spectacular deal. I oh, you know. Yeah, we're talking big money, so uh, just let me know how much you want. I know why you're doing this. It's to get at me. OK, you've made your point, so now can we forget it? It's a serious proposition. Absolutely. You know, I could never work with Rodney. We'd end up tearing lumps out of each other. Well, it doesn't have to be like that, with a bit of goodwill. I'm sure we can make a go of it. All right. Whatever Rodney's offering, we'll top it. Will we? Jack! OK. It'd be hell. You know that as well as I do. It's not my decision. I'm sorry, Diane, but my mind's made up. Nothing you can do or say is going to make me change it.